At its core, Dovetail Games is about creating experiences for enthusiasts. We talk about hobby more than we talk about games here. The basis of the company has been train simulation with lots of depth, very advanced physics, and very engaging experiences. But we moved into fishing simulation about five years ago when we first started working with the UE4 engine. It did really well and we were really happy with it. Um, a lot of us really enjoyed using UE4 as well. So we decided to scale it up and start using that on Trains in World. Trains in World is one of the simulations that we make here at Dovetail. It's primarily aimed at train fans, but also hoping to get maybe the casual gamer or just people that haven't ever had that interest, trying to get them in and enjoy it for the beauty that it is. So making a simulation game is a different kind of game to the traditional type. It gives you a lot of challenges in the sense that you're constantly having to think about not just I want to create something that's really detailed, but actually how would this be in real life. We have lots of rail drivers and rail operators who play our game, so we need to make sure we get it right because these are the first people who will tell us if we don't get it right. Our players can sometimes tell us what we've done wrong just on the basis that the train is acting in a strange way to them and it will turn out, yeah, we've got, we've got some very small value way back down the line wrong and they figured it out for us. And that's really impressive. Imagine this, you're trying to move a very, very long vehicle with independent carriages at high speeds across very large terrains. And you want to do all of that smoothly with beautiful visuals and incredibly realistic physics. What other engine are you going to use than UE4? Obviously our levels are very, very long, um, 60 kilometers and longer. That's a huge challenge. Most games, they've got all sorts of tricks where they'll put you into a corridor while they load the next level. We can't do that. It's got to be modeled as per reality. So we had to be able to change the fundamentals of how levels are loaded and, and what order parts of the level is loaded. And we did that largely without having to change Unreal itself. Most of the functionality for that was pretty much ready to go and we just sort of plugged in where we needed. Um, and that was a real benefit for us in developing some of our more, most important features. Obviously, UE4 does a lot of the heavy lifting for us, but it couldn't do all of the jobs we needed it to do. And our solution for that was something we call Simigraph, which allows us to accurately model the physics of each of those carriages as they move independently. Our physics simulation is, I think, second to none and built totally in-house, but deeply integrated with Unreal now. Source code access to Unreal has been absolutely a boom for us. There are a number of features in our game that wouldn't have been possible without it. Changing the engine is no bigger a deal than changing our code. One of the reasons we uh, chose Unreal Engine was we wanted to bring it onto multiple platforms. We're in a state now with our build systems that once we've got our PC build happy, we can press buttons and the PlayStation and the Xbox builds fall out. Now that's not to say there's no additional work to do, but it's minor, which is an amazing place to be for being multi-platform. For me, UE4 is about letting us do the thing that we're really passionate about. We talk about making real in Unreal at Dovetail Games quite a lot. And Unreal Engine's really empowered us to bring that living world to life. 